hello students i am dr rachna agarwal senior assistant professor in school of vocational education and training at indira gandhi national open university and today's topic is sustainable development goals and green technology how we can uh, imbibe from the sustainable development goals and practice green technology what actions are needed and required and how technology already which is environment friendly and sustainable we are going to see all these things let us begin the year 2015 saw two of the most significant global agreements signed by almost all countries with the aim of transforming the world the 2030 agenda for sustainable development and the paris agreement on climate change what are sustainable development goals i think in previous sessions also we have had a detailed lectures on what are sustainable development goals just to brief you these are a set of 17 goals for the world's future through 2030 they are backed up by a set of 169 detailed targets and they have been negotiated over a period of 2 years by the united nations and agreed nearly by the world's nations and launched on September 25th 2015 sustainable development framework includes sustainable development goals that embrace a wide range of environmental social economic issues which include climate change energy biodiversity food supply and security sustainable production and consumption healthcare education gender equality peace and economic growth the goal of sustainable development is to find the effective solution for some complex challenges and issues such as energy climate change pollution migration ecosystem resilience food security and many others that require a cross disciplinary perspective the issues of technology innovation and productivity are mentioned in 10 of the 17 sustainable development goals these reflect the importance of technological change in raising economic growth and living standards as well as in reducing poverty Let us have a brief look at these goals and the associated green initiatives with each of them. Goal number 1 is to end poverty in all its forms everywhere. How will we do this? We have to create more jobs, more industries and that means we have to develop advanced technologies. Goal number 2 is to end hunger achieve food security improve nutrition and promote sustainable agriculture how will we do this more food production means advancements in agriculture and food technology you must have seen these days we have very advanced machines which not only thrash they also separate the grains and utilize the biomass which is produced and compresses them into either big uh, bundles or pellets which can be later on used for sustainable other technologies like cardboard making or paper making goal number 3 that is ensure healthy lives and promote well-being for all ages this goal aims towards advancements in medical technologies we have robotic arm surgeries and artificial intelligence which are the technologies extensively used in performing appropriate and precise surgeries by advanced medical institutions goal number 4 to is to ensure inclusive and quality education for all and promote lifelong learning what this means is exactly what we all are undergoing these days virtual classes online learning 
and open global education. Goal number six of a sustainable development goals is to ensure access to water and sanitation for all. This implies that we have to ensure access to adequate and equitable sanitation for all. We have to make provisions for innovations to move away from large scale centralized treatment facilities that are no longer feasible and desirable towards more localized treatment facilities which use novel treatment processes for more effective treatment of municipal and industrial waste streams before discharging into the environment. Advanced decentralized technologies are, for example, rainwater harvesting systems, which can be put locally by a small community like a resident welfare association, a college, a school, or any other government setup, or a small building which is owned by a society. Goal number seven is to ensure access to affordable, reliable, sustainable, and modern energy for all. How? By tapping renewable energy sources, solar powered gadgets, LEDs, CFL bulbs, electric cars, and lithium batteries. Goal number nine of Sustainable Development Goals involves to build resilient infrastructure, promote sustainable industrialization, and foster innovation. How? By practicing sustainable, green, or environment-friendly technologies. This infrastructure or these technologies are not small. They need government intervention. They are huge infrastructure facilities and they are a paradigm shift in today's era. For example, making big electric highways, which are very prevalent in developed countries, which almost reduces the use of fossil fuel consumption. As the vehicles that are going to run on these highways will be powered by an electric supply which is running across the entire road systems. So these are the highest forms of technology, technological advancements which are going to come up in future. Goal number 12 of Sustainable Development Goals ensures sustainable consumption and production of patterns, that is to ensure sustainable production of innovative technologies which are zero fossil use technologies. Fossil fuel, as we all know, has a big burden on environment by producing huge quantities of air pollutants. Once we get into the habit of developing and, and using such technologies, which are zero fossil fuel based technologies, then we are protecting our environment. Locally, in India especially, we can do this by simply making the poorest of the people aware and encouraging them to use battery rickshaws and ourselves also using electric cars. Goal number 13 of the Sustainable Development Goals is to take urgent action to combat climate change and its impacts. How we do it? By advanced monitoring systems, pollution-free technologies, as I have already mentioned, battery cars and battery-operated rickshaws, which are nowadays running on cheap fuels, which amount to a huge air pollution burden on our environment. Goal number 14 is to conserve and sustainably use the oceans, seas, and marine resources. How do we do this? We have to practice pollution-free technologies and those technologies that help in conserving our marine resources. We should take, but we should not exploit. As they say, there is enough for everyone's needs. 
but never enough for your greed. Goal number 15 of Sustainable Development Goal is to sustainably manage forests, combat desertification, halt and reverse land degradation and halt biodiversity loss. We are doing this by practicing and planting more trees and using technology that is having no carbon footprints. Next goal, which is the goal 17 and the final goal of sustainable development is to revitalize the global partnership for sustainable development. What does this mean? Global partnership is to involving all nations together means a change of mindset is required to reduce the greed. Greed for accumulating and extracting and exploiting our natural resources. We need to sensitize adults and children to protect the Mother Earth. After all, we have just one Earth. Green technologies or environmentally sound technologies are the technologies that have the potential for significantly improved environmental performance relative to other technologies. Green technologies protect the environment, they generate less waste and are less polluting, they use resources in a sustainable manner, they recycle most of their wastes and products and handle all residual wastes in environmentally acceptable ways. Green technologies are not just individual technologies, they can also be defined as total systems that include the know-how about the technology, the procedures, goods and services, equipments as well as organizational and managerial procedures for promoting the sustainable environment. Green technology undoubtedly has a key role to play in delivering the targets of 17 sustainable development goals including clean water and sanitation. They are responsible for consumption and production and for affordable and clean energy production. The release of untreated effluents remains a huge environmental problem across the world. In India, for example, there are many freshwater lakes and rivers that are heavily polluted. India accounts for 16% of the world's population, but only 4% of the world's resources. Therefore, there is a dire need to preserve its water resources. An example of innovative and highly efficient technology in water treatment would be development of modified magnetic graphene oxide absorbance for pesticide removal from water and adsorbance development from waste products like walnut shells for removal of heavy metals and lead and use of algae as a bioabsorbent for the removal of zinc from industrial wastewater. Now we see how we can accommodate on one side waste material which was the walnut shell and also our environment friendly technology utilizing algae as a bioabsorbent for the removal of some of the industrial effluents. In order to achieve goal number seven on affordable and clean energy, we have some more innovative actions. For example, use of algal biomass to produce energy which is green typically through digestion of development through digestion for development of biofuels. In this process, as the algae grows, carbon dioxide is converted to biomass which is then processed into an energy resource. One of the important bottlenecks of this process lies in the separation of algae from the water before it can be processed into an energy resource. Magnetic 
iron nanoparticles can also be used to aggregate and harvest chlorella algae. Use of these particles facilitates more than 90% harvesting efficiency. But most importantly here, recovery of nanoparticles was possible, which is an important step in reuse and recycling of materials. So we see it is not only the remediation, but also reuse and recycling, which is important for sustainable and green technological options. There have been other researches in which affordable and clean energy is through the development of bioethanol from wheat straw, utilizing the waste of wheat production to produce a useful fuel bioethanol and also green biodiesels in order to minimize emission of noxious gases from the combustion of fossil fuels. So here we have an alternative green technology which utilizes waste material which itself can cause a lot of havoc if left open and burn in the environment which will release a lot of air pollutants and cause a lot of health damage. But here we should promote such technologies which in the beginning would require a little more financial investments but their returns especially when it comes to protection of our environment and health are innumerable. Environmental technology for controlling microorganisms that is controlling the level of microorganisms present in drinking water and other treated streams is of increasing importance across the world. This ensures clean and safe environments and water. This includes membrane technology, activated carbon and ion capturing for treatment of water. Thank you so much and here I have some references which you can must you must go through because in this small video it was just a sensitizing sensitization of sustainable development goals and green technology how they can go hand in hand and what actions we at our level can take to ensure that the sustainable development goals are met but there are a lot many references whosoever is interested should go and read in detail. Thank you very much.